Sporty Spurs, it's time for a PE update. I'm out here on the PE court to check out the action and to give you the latest information about PE. Our current unit in PE is exploring applying force to objects. Not the force. We aren't Jedi Knights. Yet. I'm talking about using body parts, such as hands and feet, to apply force to objects by striking them, hitting, kicking, and throwing a ball all use different types of forces. Sometimes force makes something move, and sometimes it can stop motion. How much movement you cause depends on how much force you use. We're learning how much force to use and which directions to apply the force in order to control the ball in games like kickball, four square, volleyball, and soccer. And like always, we are working on cooperating and working together and being good teammates. Finally, Coach Howell wanted me to remind you of his expectation. Expectation one, wear the right shoes, which are tennis shoes, no heels or boots. Sit down with your feet crossed on your dot and listen carefully to the directions. The better you listen, the sooner you can get up and have fun. Expectation three, no writing or drawing on the court. Seriously, this is our home away from home. Keep it nice. Expectation four. Always try your best and have fun. That's it for this PE update. Think about what forces you use next time you're out at PE. Hello, South Whispers. I hope you are working hard reading and testing for AO. If you are looking for a new book series to read, I have just the thing for you. The Diary of a Wimpy Kid series is my favorite book series. It is written like a diary, all about me, Greg Heffley. The illustrations are a big part of what makes these books hilarious. In this picture, the family stops at the wrong place for the night and ends up in the Little League baseball field. Another awesome thing about this book is that it makes me feel like I'm in the middle of the action. In this scene, a bear comes to the family camper and licks the food off of it. And then, when it comes to the window, it licks the window! So Spurs, check out one of the awesome Diary of a Wimpy Kid books today! Southwest Elementary, I'm Carla Lopez reporting for SWTV News. We have reports that there are ninjas on our SWE campus. Don't worry though, these ninjas aren't here to fight. These ninjas are here to show all of you how to be super stealthy and silent while 3rd, 4th, and 5th grade are taking their FSA test. That's the best way we can help them concentrate. You know it's hard to think when you hear little kids out on the sidewalk and at recess. Let's look around to see if we can find our special ninjas at work. So there you have it everyone. Those are great tips of how we can all be FSA ninjas. Not with hits or kicks, but with some super stealthy ninja skills. Hi Spurs, it's me Greg Heffley again. I am so excited to tell you about Book Character Day. If you meet your personal AR goal for the third nine weeks, you will get Book Character Day. Book Character Day is a day that you get to dress out as your favorite book character. This is one of our most favorite dress out days of the year, and I can't wait to see these creative costumes we all come up with. The last day for reading AR this nine weeks will be March 18th, so keep on reading and testing. Everyone who meets their goal will get an invitation to take home on March 19th, so we can all work out an awesome costume over spring break. So let's all work hard so we can meet our AR goals, so SWU can be full of amazing book characters! Good morning, Southwest Elementary Spurs! We have read so many great books so far this school year that have taught us lessons about kindness, patience, imagination, and being a good friend. 
The next book that I would like to share with you is titled The Day You Begin by Jacqueline Woodson. This book has a special lesson for us who have felt like we don't fit in with anybody else. The illustrations have an extra meaning too. As you read along with me, first look for rulers. These are all throughout the book and I think they show up when one character is comparing themselves to others and they feel like they can't measure up to everyone else. Also watch for birds. They seem to show up when characters are using their imagination and feeling happy with the special person they are. So the next time you feel like you don't fit in, remember that's a good thing. I hope you enjoyed this book.